sitting in the freezer right now. Um, and then hopefully, uh, if we can get that, then we should be good. Well, to res Kermraid anyway. And we still got all the rest of the boys out here, Rossi and so on and so forth. So that's good, but we need to res Kermraid as soon as possible, really. Is this all marble? Yeah, it is. Okay. So we have to get in here and mine out some more of this, but we have to be careful as to not um, have any more cave-ins, right? So we'll leave, like, one like that, like this, and then that one should be okay there. Let's leave a new one, just in case. Ugh. What the hell? There's a fucking ant on my monitor. Let's ant get here. Okay, good. So we need some more marble to finish off these paths and stuff, so I will mine some up. That's how we get ants. How do you get ants? What, from leaving, like, sugary treats on your desk and stuff? Is that how the ants, um... Is that how the ants arrive? That's how they make their, their big entrance into, into your house? With the sugary treats? That means loads of ants. Can I get crustacean too if a new pup is born? Uh, a warg, yeah. But the huskies we're going to phase out in favor of wargs. We want to have an army of wargs because they are better. Um, but we seem to have a problem with... Um, we've got a lot of huskies. Kakos, the husky puppy, which I think was just, just born. No, it couldn't be. It's got to be... It's not Delbertos. It's got to be this one. Quirk. The new husky puppy. Okay. So new husky puppies have to stay in the muff zone until they get trained. Quirk. Who wants this one? Who wants this husky puppy named Quirk? No quarter. No quarter. Okay. You got it. No quarter. The husky puppy... Hey, she's all yours. All right, good. Um, we want to move some stuff out here. We want to create like another bunker that we're, from which we can shoot at. How are we doing for things like components? Great. Steel? Just great. All right. We don't have any turrets yet. Not a single one. Not even one turret. Not bad. Okay, let's put that there like that so that we can shoot stuff when it comes in. Hopefully we have the range for the grenades and stuff too, but we'll have to see. Okay, our Tafki is diligently mining away here. This is nice. Hopefully there's no cave-ins that kill him. Uh, we'll try to keep him as safe as possible. Let's get this um, stuff hauled in as well. The puppers can come out and do this stuff too, right? So this is better, better unrestricted so that they're not going in and chomping down on what's his face's corpse as well right can i be a new warg poop feast yeah well poop feast you're dead though you died i don't know if you remember but you're you are dead and buried we buried you a long time ago a long long time ago it turns out <coughs> we'll put a roof over this bunker too because why not um and then we'll get some stuff set up over here for um i guess we can move this bad boy out here now too right so we're going to just disassemble this one what did, what bills did we have on here cremate corpse cremate corpse and burn apparel let's cancel that it's a shame we can't just move that one now we have to make a brand new one because i want to copy all those bills electric crematorium we'll put this bad boy like over here and then we can move this chair over here and then we can have a roof we can have a roof area. Over here like this. Roof area. And then we want roof area here too. Okay, perfect. And then we should hopefully get some marble for these to finish up these floors in here. We have a lot of cloth, don't we? God, Jesus Christ, we have a lot of cloth. Okay, let's put some... Oh, we haven't even researched um, carpets yet. Okay, we'll put some we'll put some uh, carpets in the bedrooms as well. Claim back some of that marble too. What happened to Rob XD? Nothing. He's still he's still going. He's fine. He's uh he's got his Thrombos cowboy hat now for better trades. He's gonna he's trying to do better trades. Wow, our freezer is just filled with sweet meats now. This is great. Um, it doesn't look like we have any um, predators out here. 
But then again, we don't really need any meats or anything now, so we don't need to go out hunting just yet. No crustacean too. Crustacean too. Yeah, we can maybe get you crustacean too. We'll make a crustacean two as a warg. Wait, what happened to you? What happened to crustacean one? Where crustacean one? Were you a person or were you a um? What were you exactly? Crustacean two. Crustacean one. Were you a dog or something or what? What was the deal there? These lads are still alive. Yeah, hey sips looking. Good. JK, you fucking degenerate. What the hell? Warning people, moderate tornado risk here in the Midwestern USA. Oh, a husky and died while pregnant. Oh, okay. You were already a, a husky. I see. All right. Rob XD, where are you at? We need you on the comms console here. We're going to call Edge Incorporated. And now we have this research boost in here too, right? It's a bit cramped in there now though too. All right. So we have another muffalo calf. God damn, we have Boydka that they want to buy as well. And we have, geez, we have so many muffalos now. I think we want to keep about four, ideally, and then just sell the rest for money, right? Pemmican, tons of meat. God damn, there's so much meat. Turkey meat, uh, venison, we can sell some venison and some turkey meat. Why not? 712 bucks worth of meat. Look at all this elk meat as well. Jesus. Okay, let's sell all this elk meat because we can just keep hunting, right? We need the leathers and stuff. Um, we will sell uh, most of these uh, leathers and stuff as well. Plain leather we'll keep, but the rest of this stuff and the thrumble fur we'll keep as well. Okay, let's buy medicine. Uh, let's buy components. Do they have any? Yeah, they got some components. We'll buy some advanced components as well. So we still make a profit off all this. Uh, we could sell all of our beer. Oh my god, this is great, isn't it? We have so much money, it's nuts. Uh, gold will hang on to, wood. Uh, cycoid leaves. Uh, we could sell... Actually, it's getting close to... We could probably sell this flake. And almost be under. Okay, let's go like that. Good, so we got some more medicine. We've got... How much medicine do we have now? How much of the good medicine do we have? 47 good medicines. We can start making our own medicines and stuff too, right? Should be pretty good. Alright, so we should be hauling all this marble and finishing off these jobs. Um, and then we could go back out and hunt all of these elk now. And these turkeys as well. We might as well. God, there's so many rabbits. Holy crap. There's so many rabbits. Alright, so we have enough money to buy probably some more armor and shit for people. Slavrar, Epico, and Gravy all need marine armor now to go with their helmets. And Kermraid, we're still looking for a Resurrector mech serum as well. We need to get one for um, for Kermraid to bring Kermraid back to life, right? Yeah? Can I name a warg Bobs? Sure. Sell all the dogs. We're coming close to the point where we are going to think about selling all of these dogs. We've got, another new, we've got another new muffalo here that can be named as well. Who wants to be named after a muffalo? We're not going to be able to keep up with kibble production at this rate. Melandru. Melandru. Okay, Melandru, you're in. They're so cramped in here too. Look, Epico is feeding them raw meat and stuff. They're all eating up the kibble. They're, gonna, they're all cramped. They're going to be miserable and stuff. Could maybe make like a better enclosure for separate animals like maybe have the dogs in their own enclosure and then the muffalos in their own sort of thing or something i don't know we'll see we need to we probably need to up our kibble production as well what are we at now 150 kibble okay let's up that to 200 kibble make sure that we're we're always on top of the kibbles right we could probably move terry into here soon too so that there's less there's there, there's less like um Confusion as to where all the animals are and stuff too, right? Imagine what the animal room smells like. Probably worse than Coxian's room. Yeah, you're probably right actually. It probably does smell way worse than Coxian's room. Coxian's room probably is a, a true unadulterated stinker though. Uh, security auto cannon turret? Do we want to get one of these things set up? Or do we want to get two of these things set up? I mean, we can afford to get two of them set up. It might be fun to have two of them set up there, and then we can have, like, two set up here, too, right? So they pew, pew, they can just shoot whatever comes through there. Two on each side. Auto cannon turrets. Okay, we're going to need some power. 
go into these as well. Um, so we're gonna have power down like that. And then we're gonna need some power going up here like this too. And that should get both of them. Okay, that's good. So then we just need less people to defend when the time comes, right? We'll get our, our best dudes on there. Okay, medicine production's finally done. Let's go carpet making next. We'll get some carpet making done. We're almost, uh, I think we're at the point where we could realistically have two research benches going full time, right? To blast through some of the, some more of this research we, would be pretty good. Okay, power. And we need to get these other bedrooms set up as well, don't we? That's another, that's another big thing for us, is these other bedrooms. We're slowly moving this stuff out of here. Uh, we need some sandstone. I need to find some more sandstone, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure where there is any. There's a lot of marble around, but sandstone we seem to potentially run out of. Unless there's like a bunch out here. Is this sandstone? Get some of this hauled in. Oh my god, there's so much crap out here that still needs to be hauled. Uh, this is all sandstone out here, isn't it? Okay, so we can mine up some of this sandstone. Wait, is that gonna... that's gonna collapse, isn't it? We'll leave one thing there just in case. God, there's still lots of components and steel and stuff out here that I can get too, which is pretty great. Alright, it's nice and quiet for once. We don't seem to be being raided by anything or... Okay, let's go out and kill all of these rabbits. And then we'll go kill all these squirrels as well. And these raccoons too. Keep the anim animal population at bay. Where's the Drop Bear Memorial statue? Man, we are not making one. <laughs> There's no way. There's no way we're making one. No way on this on this earth. It's not happening. We're not making a Drop Bear Memorial statue. That's for damn sure. Okay, so we have to run some plumbing up here. So that we can move some of this stuff out of here. Okay, there's a... Max the Warg is starving. What? Max the Warg is starving. Wait, will he not eat the kibble? Is Max the new baby? Max. Where are you, Max? It's a Warg puppy. In the Muffalo Zone. Have we... Did we rename Max? Or is this a, is this a game name? Works don't eat kibble. Black pudding salad. Black pudding. Okay, black pudding. Wait, I misspelled your... No, I didn't. Okay, it's fine. Black pudding. Alright, fine. You could be a baby work. So we have to feed the works meat. They have to be able to eat proper meat. Which I'm sure through training them, we can feed them the proper meat that they need, right? Should be fine. It looks like somebody's just trained them. So as long as we keep training them, we'll feed them meat and that, that can be them fed. Everything else can eat like the kibble and stuff. Human meat is good for wargs. So what do we want to have? Just like a, do we want to have like a freezer for dead bodies instead of cremating them? That we could just put in there and the wargs can, can go in there and, and nibble at them. We just make sure that nobody goes in there too often because it's going to be like terrible. Imagine the poor bastard that has to butcher the humans. Oh my god. We don't have to butcher them though. We can just leave their um, we could just leave their remains in there, right? That should be fine. How are we doing with chem fuel here? We got a, a little bit of chem fuel. Okay, so let's up the amount of explosives that we're making. Uh, so we currently have 60. Let's up that to a hundred so that we have a hundred shells on us at all times. Because uh, the raids might start to get harder if our wealth starts going up, right? Okay, it looks like they mined all this out already. But they didn't haul the blocks back. Got a caravan request here. 
Uh, they want seven cochlear implants uh, in exchange for a silver table, a limestone small snow sculpture, legendary, and uh, and masterwork flak pants. Man, that does not seem like a good deal. Somehow, just a bunch of guff that I don't want for things that are expensive to make. Cock implants, yeah, yeah. It's just uh, little extenders for your. For your cock, basically, yeah. Power. Oh, they can't get to this, can they? Power conduit. So I have to like that. I can't reach that part because of the uh, the, the double thick walls, right? Cock implants. The ancient danger may contain cryo caskets. True. True. Then we could maybe put, um, well, we can't put her in anyway, though. She's dead. You can't put a dead body in a cryo casket. They have to be alive on the brink of dying, right? You can't just shove a dead body in there. Very true. Put Epico in there. Yeah, we'll put Epico on ice. We'll put Epico on ice, and every time there's a raid, we'll awaken him, and he'll come out. He can be like our nemesis enforcer, right? Be really good. Epico's got um, a low mood because of his uh, shield shield belt, which is no good now. Slav Larf, like in Demolition Man. Yeah. Maybe we should make him a new shield belt. Did we make him one already? Shield belt. Where do these even come? In. Chain shotgun, flak vest, advanced helmet. Flak vests. What do we need for flak vests? 30 cloth, 60 steel, and a component. Okay, let's get some flak vests made for people. So it'll help keep people alive, right? I mean, even if fucking um, Kermraid had a flak vest on, could have saved her life. Sadly, she did, but there you go. These fucking turrets are awesome. So this is... This is just outside of there, and this too. So actually, that's pretty good range. We just gotta make sure we don't stand anybody in front of these bad boys. So we saw with the uranium slug turrets. Not great. It was not great, was it? Hey, Roku Avalanche, thanks so much for the 10 bucks, man. You sexy bastard, can you name a dude or a warg after me? Roku Avalanche, absolutely. Thanks so much, man, I appreciate it. And Erratic Magician, thanks so much for the bits as well. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Tooth is working on some flak vests for the boys. This will be nice. Get some people in flak vests. So we want to make sure that the people that get the flak vests first are the people in Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier. Flak vest. Flak pants they'll wear as well. That's fine. Um, but winter clothes. We don't want you wearing any flak. Because you're probably just going to be in the base. At least not as a... Not yet. Not yet. You can have them after, right? So we want to make sure that our Winter Soldiers get equipped with these flak vests first. Then once they are, then we can move it move along sort of thing. We need to make a shield belt too. Do they get made here? The carpet making is done. Okay, perfect. Carpet, par carpet making is done. Crypto Sleep Casket. We can maybe make some of these as well. Which we can put living beings in a state of indefinite suspended animation. Yeah, let's go for this. Or should we go for bionics next? So that we can actually start getting people... We can start improving people. Okay, Slavlar's got his vest on. That's good. It's a good start. Rob XD is thinking about putting his vest on. Looks like we got a, some backup vests in here. Some other people were wearing them. Okay, Rossi won't wear one because he's got the marine armor on. It looks like we got some flak pants and stuff now. Okay, Gravy is all kitted out. This is perfect. All right, and we need to go into uh, winter. We need to go into summer soldier mode, right? Summer soldier. So summer soldier is going to wear uh, flak vest, flak pants, flak jacket, all this good stuff. Just no parkas and stuff. So that's fine. So that can be summer soldier, summer soldier, summer soldier, and then winter clothes is just going to be summer clothes, right? But we don't want them wearing the flak vests, flak jackets and stuff. So this is just normal summer clothes. 
Okay, Dalio. What does Dalio have that a cloth two? Excellent. Okay, let's clear that forest. And this is the thrumble for a cowboy hat. Okay, that's fine. Epico is wearing a shield belt, normal, which is in really bad condition. So we're gonna get him a new one made. I don't even know where to make these though. Shield belts. I'm sure it was in here, wasn't it? Shield belts. Shield belt. Shield belt. Prosthetics. Advanced helmet. Flak jackets. Man, guys, where do you make the shield belts? I can't remember. Use the AI core. Oh, I haven't researched it yet. I'm not going to use the AI core on this. I'm going to use it on uh, some of the bigger spaceship things. I'll use it on bigger spaceship stuff. I don't need it for bionics. I'll, I'll use it like on the really big ones. I gotta research it first. Fabrication bench won't do, no. Okay, let's make some more charge rifles. Who's got one? Rossi? Slavlar? Gravy? Who else can go in? Who else can be a soldier now? Bio. Shooting. And melee. Shooting and melee. Hinge. None. artafki has got none. Callow? Okay, Callow can become a soldier now as well, I think. We'll move Callow up here. Because Callow's got decent shooting, so we'll get her a thing as well, right? Callow? Alright, so we'll go into a sign, and now Callow is going to have summer soldier as well, right? So we need to get Callow a marine helmet. Oh wait, have we researched um, power armor and stuff? Marine helmet. 40 plasteel and an advanced component. Fuck yeah, okay, great. That's good. We can start making marine armor and stuff too, right? Fight time. There's a light, a red light in Coxian's room, but the ceiling fan washes it out. Okay, let's disassemble this ceiling fan. We don't really need the ceiling fans in every single room. There, now it's gone back to being red again. Very, very red. We've got this blue zone here too. Alright, so what are these... Oh, I lost the bills. I lost. I actually lost the bills. Okay, let's switch this bad boy off just for now. Save on some power. We're gonna try to set up another room for burning colonists' bodies, or 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 actually just leaving them. We're gonna make like another freezer. I think we're gonna make another freezer that we could put colonist bodies in. Not colonist bodies. Sorry, invaders' bodies in. Keep them on ice and let the wargs in to eat them. Exotic goods trader. Okay, guys, this could be it. This could be Kerm Raid coming back. Okay, Menwell Import Company. Let's go, Rob. Let's see what they got. Let's see what they got. All right, do they have one? They want to buy all the beer. Um, that's good. They've got a prosthetic arm. They've got a power claw. Um, they got a tech prof sub persona core. Holy shit. 70,000 bucks. 70,000 bucks. That's the um that's the free research thing, isn't it? Power claw. Yeah, I don't know. Do we need a do we actually need a power claw now that we have a thrombo horn? Hard to tell, isn't it? Very hard to tell. Packet survival meal, neutramine components. We can buy their components and advanced components off of them. That's good. Package survival meal. Um, they've got some timber wolves here. Black pudding. They want to buy all of our wargs and our polar bear. They don't have another polar bear for us, sadly. Um, does anybody need a lung? Probably not, right? Plasteel could do with getting a little bit more as well. Terry? 700 bucks. 700 bucks. Market value. Oh, wait. What's up with this? Tech Prof Sub Persona Core is only 700 bucks. Oh, sh oh, that's m Fuck, I'm so stupid. They're not selling it, it's mine. They want to buy it. Okay. My bad. Do we want to buy a telescope? Telescope for doing amateur astronomy. It's a relaxing hobby for a certain kind of person, can only be used outdoors. 
Yeah, let's buy a telescope as well. Spend some of this money, right? Okay, I did not sell the tech prof sub persona core. I'm so dumb, I'm sorry, chat. You, you gotta be used to it by now, though, right? You gotta be used to how dumb I am by now. I'm having, like, some weird, like, uh... There's, like, a, like a weird fucking line in the middle of my screen here. It, like, it's like a V-Sync thing or something. I don't know. Maybe I... Like, let me just turn off my monitor and turn it back on again. Wow. Chet Weems, thanks so much for all the gifted subs. I appreciate it. Top turret is not powered. We'll power it up in a second. It's still there? It appears fine now. Chet Weems, thanks so much, man. That's really nice of you. That's a lot of gifted subs. I'm having a stroke. Man, I'm always having a stroke. It's uh, it, what, it, You wouldn't have been able to see it. It's like a monitor thing, not like a display thing. Um, okay, we want to get this running through there too. So now we've got these big boy turrets. We've got all the traps in these kill boxes here. This is all done at last. Floors, let's go for marble tile. And then let's go for red carpet. Okay, Coxian's room can be red carpet, but then everybody else can have cream carpets. Playing back some of this marble. Remember that time we made the hospital with cream carpets? That was hilarious, eh? Okay, let's use up some of this cloth, because Christ, we have a lot of it, right? And the telescope, too. Where the hell is the telescope? I don't even see it. I don't think they brought it in. I don't think there's enough room for it. Where did it land? Where is the telescope? I've never even bought a telescope before. I don't even know what they look like. I just wanted people to be able to do some more recreational stuff, you know? What's this? Steel advanced helmet. Catlow's huh. already wearing one. Coxian is pretty good at shooting, is he not? No, he's not. Hinge, Joey, Tooth, Otafki, Dalio, Dennis. Drakeson. We need like more soldiery types, right? Tooth has, has melee abilities. Might be able to get him like a thrumbo horn and a shield belt and stuff. Maybe like build him up. Build him up into some sort of like melee dude. Okay, let's put him over here just in case. We'll get him ready to go. We'll need to get a thrumbo thing though, right? And I need to research uh, shield belts, too. Alright, Coxie, and your room is going to be very red when this is all done. Can I have baby feces colored carpets to match my chat name color? Sure, I don't even know where your name, where your um, thing is, though. Who are these guys? These guys are bulk goods traders. Okay. Let's get all, let's get our, our number one cowboy out here. Broke back Rob XD. Here you go. Great. All right. <clears throat> These guys are up for buying um, all of our huskies. God damn, we have a lot. It looks like Smith is pregnant again too. Um, Hardbite, Mac, Bobby, and Delbertos. We can sell. Should we, should we sell? We need to start getting rid of some of these huskies. There's way too many, right? It's going to be hard to like train them up and stuff as well. We need to start getting rid of um, some of these uh, muffalos as well, because we don't want too many. We've got a, muff a female muffalo calf and Melandru, who is not fully grown yet. So there's two more coming up. So that would mean that we could get um, Cacti Cutie. We need to keep one male. So Monster Murda will, will hang on to you. And that means that we could sell Mifatu and Boydka. And let those other ones grow up. So we have two who are of age to haul and do stuff, and then the other two we can sell off. Mifatu is eight years old. Okay, we'll sell her, and then let's also sell um, Delberto, Mac and Bobby, and Hardbite as well. 
They're all older, right? We don't really need more huskies. We're trying to we're trying to make an army of wargs now instead of huskies. Um, and then let's get rid of all of this crap too, or as much of it as we can, and we'll buy all of their as usual components and other stuff too, right? Plain leather we'll hang on to just for making stuff. Oh, Thrumbofer we want to hang on to as well, actually. But we can sell them our flake, our yayo, our beer for some money. Um, steel, we could buy some. Don't necessarily need to. Look at this bearskin button-down shirt. 1.5%. Holy crap. There's so many old clothes here. Devil Strand t-shirt. Megsloth will tribal wear. Why do we have all this stuff? Okay, and then we can get rid of some of these parkas as well. They're not going to be able to afford all this. 1135. Okay, that's fine. Do they have anything else that we want to buy off them? Cloth animal bed. They got some foil helmets. Steel advanced helmet. We've got a spare one that we could sell. Camel hair toque. Okay. We should be good like that. Adams and Loka are having a friendly fight. How's this Jolie doing? Do we have anybody with inspired recruitment? No, inspired surgery. Okay, remind me if we get inspired recruitment, alright? Okay, and then so out here, floors, we want to get the same stuff, right? We want this marble flagstone all out here. All right, boys, get to work. Get to get to work. Friendly fight result dead. Oh shit, yeah. Okay, let's leave that there for the works. They can nibble on him a bit. Maybe this is a good opportunity for us to start thinking about getting um, this other stuff done too, right? Man, we need some more sandstone for these sarcophagus, sarcophagi, sarcoph sarcophagu. We got a streaker. It's a dead body. You're doing great, Dad. We have nowhere to haul this to right now. Hey, thanks very much, that dill, that one dill hole. Thanks for the bits. Hello, Sips. Glad to catch the, finally actually catch a stream for once. Can you name something after me, please? Yeah, that one dill hole. I'll try to remember. I can't, the, no, um, I, the, there's no, um, no guarantees, but I will try my best to remember, all right? Epico and Coxian now have the reddest room with red lights and a red carpet. And it looks like the cream carpets are going into the other bedroom. So this should make them more beautiful, right? Carpet has more beauty than the marble tiles, like one more at least. You won't remember. No, I probably won't. I'm very bad at remembering stuff. Wildlife. There's an arctic fox out here that needs to die. And then all this stuff can also die as well. Mittens, have a nibble. Come on, huskies. Have a nibble on some of these corpses. You know you want to. You know you would love to. Okay, power-wise, we're still good. We have some unhappy nudity in Rob XD Drakeson. Plain leather pants. Good. Alright. I think we're going to start saying Tukes and Parka's pants do until we have Let's keep a reserve of, like, three on hand, right? Pants and button-down shirts to help with the unhappy nudity. Alright, we made another charged rifle for Callow? Wonderful. And we have flak vests for all of our all of our dudes here too, right? Tooth, we were gonna say Tooth is now going to have Summer Soldier as well. And we're gonna outfit Tooth as another melee guy like Epico, right? And we're making a marine helmet here. So we could actually make another marine helmet. We'll make two. Because we need one for Callow and one for Tooth. Need warm clothes. Even though it's 18 degrees outside, they still want warm clothes. That's crazy, isn't it? That's crazy. 
All right, good. And then we're actively recruiting Jolie, but we might have a um, inspired recruitment. We might be able to get her. What was she good at, if anything? Or can we let her go? She's really good at plants. Okay, well, I mean, we always need people who can plant stuff, right? It's always good. Uh, kind of a long way since my first attempt. This is still the same game. This is the second game of RimWorld that we played. And this is still the second game. We haven't lost yet. In fact, now we're like, pretty, we're doing pretty good. We're pretty stable. We're getting like, the stuff that we're working on now. Ah, here's the telescope. Okay, let's get this bad boy installed out here so that people can do some stargazing and whatnot. Yeah, we're actually working on like luxuries and stuff now. It's crazy. Where's the giant corpse field? I don't know where we're gonna set up this giant corpse field. We still need to get these. Oh, finally. Okay, it looks like we finally hauled in some sandstone so we can still work on getting rid of this tomb. Callow is making a sarcophagus right now. So we got limestone here and then granite as well. Well, Callow almost finished it. Okay, perfect. Is anything eating this guy? No. <laughs> no. Nothing Nothing feels the overwhelming need to... Oh, Manhunter pack. Holy shit, that's a lot of huskies. Alright, there's 15 huskies inbound. It looks like they're going to come through the bottom. Alright, everybody. Let's get in safe. Animals, too. You need to get into some safety here. They're gonna come through the bottom. So let's get Rossi down here. And Slavrar. And let's also get Gravy. Uh-oh. Oh god. <laughs> oh my god, that is a lot of husky death. <laughs> oh my god! Alright. Back at it, everybody. Oh my god. Okay, we'll go and finish them off. Do we want to do peace talks? Probably not, right? The sound. Wow, I mean, they were fucking... I mean, they were manhunter dogs. What could we do? God, that's gonna be a lot of dog fur and stuff. Those, man, those traps really, really slammed them hard, didn't they? Jesus. This is totally sterile. So is the hospital. Completely sterile as well. It's pretty nice. So we still have this Arcotech leg as well, right? Oh, we got another exotic goods trader here too. Alright, where are you, uh, Rob? See if they've got anything for us. Alright, what do they have? We're looking for good stuff. Uh, they've got an Arcotech arm. They've got a heart that they can sell us. Uh, they've got a melee neuro trainer mech serum that they're selling for 861 bucks. We could get this for tooth, actually. Get, make him better at, uh, at melee. Or even maybe for Epico. We could always see, right? Um, we could sell a bit of beer to them. Do we want to just sell this tornado generator? Or do we just want to like for for the lulls take it um, take it with us like you know uh, on like a you know kill this settlement thing or whatever? Epico will die soon anyway. Keep it for a siege. We could keep it for a siege. All right. Uh, advanced components, mittens, boomalopes. They got some boomalopes and alpha beavers for sale. Uh, we don't want to sell any of our. Works. Black Pudding, Lubinsky, and Tush Tush are all fine. Um, so we'll get this melee thing. Still no Resurrector Mech Serum, though. Do we want to get a Mega Screen TV? Yes. I'm buying a Mega Screen TV for the boys as well. Why the hell not, right? They still haven't installed this telescope. Crazy. Alright, we have money, so we might as well, right? 
Get the Arcotech arm. Well, I guess I could have. We got the Arcotech leg. Who are we gonna give the? Who are we gonna turn into an Arcotech person? Epico? Oh shit! It's a heat wave, boys. It's a big bad heat wave. Okay, let's see how our freezer fares against this heat wave this time now. This is our this is our typical one once per summer heat wave, right? We got all the fans and stuff in here too, so hopefully we can keep it nice and cool. We don't have any any heat going back into the base either, right? Petition to build a stripper pole in my room. Animal starvation. Mubinski the warp. Actually, Mubinski, are you being trained? Okay, Mubinski, you can go out now. You're allowed. Oh, shit. I forgot to put everybody back. Alright, so all of these guys, but not Skillet. Main, Aldi, Kakos. Okay, Aldi, you're gonna have to go with Gravy, I guess? Rossi, Rossi, Rossi's got a whole bunch. Rossi, Epico. Epico's got no quarter the Husky Puppy. Husky Puppy is not ready to leave just yet. Tush Tush, Mubinski, and Black Pudding is still being trained as well. Gravy. Um, so hang on, what were you saying then? Das Poot can go out as well. But no quarter has to stay in. Tush Tush can go out. Mubinski is ready to go out as well. Fully, fully ready to go out. And Black Put Pudding is still a work puppy being trained. Terry's got to stay in. All these guys got to stay in. But Mittens, the polar bear, go out as well, right? Okay. All right. One marine, two marine helmets complete. So now Callow and Tooth both have marine helmets as well. So we got to start working on armor for people too. We got to start working on some marine armor. Marine armor is a bit more, isn't it? Details. 20 uranium, 100 plasteel, and 4 advanced components. Okay, we'll make two. We have some uranium, but we're going to have to start trading for it again. We're going to have to start doing some deep drilling at some point as well, right? How's Hinge doing in terms of uh, intellectuals at 20? He's a legendary master. Oh, and he's interested in it as well. Holy shit, Hinge. That's crazy. Hinge has become a legendary master um, researcher. Coxian's room now doesn't have a fan, and it's a heat wave. It's alright, we got... Uh, it's 25 degrees in there. It looks like this is still holding up as well, albeit 44 degrees outside. Yeah, these fans are struggling a little bit. But, to be fair, there's no actual air conditioning in here at all, right? If we go into Hygiene Misc and we put some air con indoor... What's this biosolids? Composter for turning sewage into fertilizer for increasing the fertility of diggable terrain. Biosolid fertilizer used for increasing the fertility of diggable terrain. Lasts just under one year. We could start thinking about doing some of this stuff, right? So we can get a couple of air con units. Just like blasting air... Air conditioning around the base. Potentially. Like... Because we've got vents pretty much everywhere, right? Let's just get like four set up here. And then we can get the aircon pipes here as well. And then hopefully that can just blast some air around the base a bit more. And then with the fans and stuff, it might just be enough to keep it relatively cool, right? 44 degrees sounds like an average January for you. It's 42 actually. But the freezer is still uh, is, is still holding up, so that's fine. I think we might just be consuming more power to keep up. I think the um, I think the Dove's bad hygiene aircon units and stuff are far superior to the uh, original ones. I think they just work a bit better. So that goes out there, that goes out there, and then we can have temperature, we could put an overwall vent here as well, right? So it goes out here, and then it'll go out into all of these bedrooms, as long as they've got 
vents where we need them, which they do for the most part. Good. Gonna have the stream running on the background, but I have to get back to writing a summary of the project. Alright, Popesy. Am I going to play Subnautica Below Zero? Yeah. When it's all done, I definitely will. So it's 23 degrees inside, except for in this room... Oh no, it's 27 outdoors. It's 23 inside. That's not too bad, actually. It's not too bad. So we got this mega screen TV here. Okay, good. We'll set up the mega screen TV in here as well. Just for more rec recreation, right? Gotta have some lights. They gotta be able to see what they're shooting at, right? Very important. Put it in the place of the party spot. What, the mega screen TV? What, so that it just grabs everybody? It's fine. Look, everybody's having a party right now, it looks like. Okay, have these aircon units helped? It's 42 degrees outside. It's 27 degrees in this main hall here. With all these fans and stuff, hopefully we'll be able to just push around some of this. God, look, it's 33 degrees up in here. It's because we don't have any vents going up there either, right? Do 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 do. How hot is it in here? Forty three degrees in the animal pen. It's because there's so many hot bodies in there. Rather than wasting power on the turrets, twenty seven seven, connect their wire to a switch that you could turn on during raids. That's all right. We're fine for power. It's good to have them switched on just in general, just in case anything gets through the traps, right? And still nobody's setting this up, thing up. Coxian. Get this telescope set up ASAP, okay? I don't want to wait another minute for this thing. Very important. We've got all these parkas, we've got all this plain leather here as well. Are all these bills done? So, Tattered apparel should only be affecting Epico now. We're gonna need a bigger storage area, I think. Or we're gonna have to have a separate storage area for, like, clothes and stuff. Is there, is there any... Are there any weapons or anything on here that don't need to be there? No, I don't think so. I'm looking for six kingdoms. Okay, the heat wave is done. So these things should just operate at fairly low power now. Because they're set to keep everything at 21 degrees. So when it hits 21 in here, they should just stop working. Or at least consume little to no power. Look at all this grid excess that we have, even with all the lights on. It's insane. We can almost get another indoor growing zone going. That's with all the hydroponics and everything too, right? I think we're fine for food though for now. Not that we need any more. Kalos got inspired surgery. Jolie is nearly ready to recruit, and this body 
Spider recruitment Epico. <clears throat> okay, Epico. Prisoner recruit work. Where is Epico? Where is Epico? All right, Epico. Let's do it. Let's recruit Jolie. Okay, we've got two more sarcophagi done. So let's get um, Coxian in here. To deconstruct these and then we can haul these guys out of here. Jolie has joined us. Jolie is a female member of the Nomadic Bad Boys age 53. Alright, who wants this character? Tucker. Alright, Tucker, you got it. Okay, Jolie is not good at shooting or melee, so Jolie will immediately or sorry, Tucker will be immediately put on summer clothes. Just normal summer clothes. Still 27 degrees out there. Okay. No good at doctoring. Decent enough at handling, so we'll leave her on that. Hunting. We don't need her on hunting. Amazing at growing and plant cutting. Um, and not bad at mining either. Okay, good. Tucker... You seem to be all around not terrible, but we'll have to see. Oh, also Tucker, um, summer clothes means that you shouldn't be putting that thing on. Uh, you're beautiful, you're body purist, and you're ascetic. Tucker prefers to live in ascetism. She will be put in a poor mood if she has a bedroom that's too impressive. All oh, right, okay. Uh, this is a medieval slave. <laughs> I'm adulthood is a medieval farm oaf. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. Okay. Tucker, we got a pirate merchant passing by, so let's get Rob on the horn here. All right, Tucker. I want to see you get into work straight away. All right. Should we sell Terry? They've got a female work here. A seven-year-old female work. Let's do it. And they've got a nine-year-old male warg as well. Fuck yeah, let's do it. Let's buy some wargs, shall we? Uh, we don't have enough camp fuel, but we can sell some flake to them. We can sell some yayo to them. And we can sell some beer to them as well to cushion this blow a little bit. And they've got um, marine armor normal. For me, I could sell that. they got a couple of normal flak vests. Auto pistols, machine pistols. I mean, we could just sell some of this stuff to them as well. We don't need any of this crap, right? LMG normal? I don't even think we really need this anymore either. We'll sell it for 60 bucks. Didn't we buy it for like 400 bucks? Let's just hang on to it just in case. Okay, that's good. Alright, so we're getting closer to being able to sell off our huskies, right? So we got Tush Tush, Mubinski, Black Pudding is now an adult. And could go out with Rossi. That's great. Bonded. Bumitsky bonded to Epico. Weird. Okay. Terry has bonded to Rossi. Alright. Terry. Take that. Epico. Great villain. Bonded to Kermraid, who is dead. Okay. So Jensen. And Queen are our new wargs in town. So who wants to be this? This is the male warg. Who wants to be this one? Jetpacks. Jetpack. Jetpacks. Jetpacks. It's like that, right? Okay, and who's the other one? Okay, so these ones will have to go into the muff zone for now. Actually, these ones could just go in safe. Better unrestricted the muff zone just for now 
Uh, we'll make a, we'll, we'll have like a, we'll make a proper warg pen with a freezer for bodies for them to eat. Um, and hopefully they don't just, um, go crazy, right? Muffalos, okay, and who is the other one? Uh, this is the female warg. Who wants a female warg? Sotiris, so, so, Sotiris, okay. You're good. And we have another muffalo calf here. Who wants to be a muffalo in this great this great colony? Depressed cat. Okay, depressed cat. All right, so depressed cat needs to stay in the muff zone as well. And then we'll start working on these new bedrooms very soon. We're getting very close to being able to do this. We got Whose body is this? Rigel and Flounder need to be hauled into these areas too, right? Jetpacks and Osiris. Okay, that was good. Need, need warm clothes? Not yet. Minor break risk in Tucker. And Epico we need to make a shield belt for. Okay, Epico's got more inspired recruitment as well, which is very nice. Okay, so Rossi... Gravy, Coxian, Rob XD, Joey, Drakeson, but not so much Epico actually. But if he gets inspired, we can set it back, right? Should be fine. Um, how's our boy doing here? Kermraid, has been dead for 13 days, but still fresh. <clears throat> Incredible. So we got peace talks here. We've got the Alliance of Trosma here, Sao Quarry, Gourd Village, Masterwork Black Pants. So oh, these, these are the ones, they wanted cochlear implants, didn't they? These are our allies. This is the Trogo of the Inlet. We've been attacked by them a couple of times as well, haven't we? So the Covenant of East Ant Devalor are all over us here. But if we go further afield, we've got the or Orinlium Union, Tiwik. And then some more tribals and stuff too. All right, good. Hey, these carpets are looking nice, holy shit. It's coming together big time, isn't it? This flooring and stuff out here is looking pretty good too. I'm surprised Epico is still alive being married to Coxian. Yeah, I know. Epico has done fairly well to survive all this time, right? Where's that other marine armor gone? Nobody wants to wear it? Okay, Slavrar, you can have it then. It's better than a flak vest, right? All right, Slavrar now has full marine stuff as well. Inspired trade on Drakeson. We've got some visitors here as well, visiting us. We should have another marine armor coming up fairly soon. Joey's working on it right now. <coughs> so we can give that one to uh, Epico. Coxian with the good construction skills. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. So, all of those have been hauled, so we should be good to get rid of another one. We're getting close to being able to remove this tomb at long last. We're getting there. It's taking a long ass time, but it looks like they're finally hauling in sandstone from way out there. There's a bunch of granite here that can be hauled as well. Yeah, it looks like they finally made it down here and they've started hauling all this stuff up the bottom corner of the map. So we've got a whole bunch of slag that can be melted down and other shit as well. Perfect. That's good. Minor break risk in Tucker. What's wrong with Tucker? I guess everything is wrong with Tucker doesn't have a bedroom so it doesn't won't get like any decent buffs right so Tucker 
Tucker might just like might just lose it. Power. Okay. The bear. Where's the bear? There's a bear out here. Oh, there's two grizzly bears out here. Holy crap.